Hello and welcome to the reading and writing lessons. Today, we will discuss the last pattern of development. As you know, we are done with narration, description, definition, classification and exemplification, compare and contrast, cause and effect, problem and solution, and today we will discuss what is persuasion so let us have some questions before we start have you tried to persuade someone to believe in you and what did you do in order to make him or her believe in you let's define persuasion persuasion describes an issue and your position on or opinion on the subject. Persuasion convinces readers to agree to an argument or claim about a particular topic. These are some of the signal words to emphasize a point to persuade someone. One is again, in that case, to emphasize truly for this reason indeed to repeat with this in mind in fact here are also some signal words for concluding and summarizing accordingly consequently in brief and others words that signal conceding a point admittedly it is true that, obviously, true, and others. Here are some tips on writing a persuasive essay. Writing a persuasive essay is like being a lawyer arguing a case before a jury. The writer takes a stand on the issue, either for or against, and builds the strongest possible argument to win over the reader. Here are the five steps in writing process for persuasive essays. One is pre-writing for the persuasive essay. What you're going to do is to choose a position. Are you against or are you pro? Then understand the audience. Make some research. Identify the most convincing evidence. You can make use of this persuasive essay outline. One is introductory paragraph. In the introductory paragraph, you have to grab the reader's attention by using a hook. Give an overview of the argument. Then close with a thesis statement that reveals the position to be argued. In the body of the paragraph, each body paragraph should focus on one piece of evidence. Within each paragraph, provide sufficient supporting details. Then write an opposing view paragraph. Describe and then refute the key point of the opposing view. In the last part should be the concluding paragraph. Restate and reinforce the thesis and supporting evidences. The second step is drafting the persuasive essay. When writing the initial draft of a persuasive essay, consider the following suggestions. 1. The introductory paragraph should have a strong, strong hook that grabs the reader's attention. Open with unusual fact or a statistics, a question or quotation, or an empathic statement. For example, driving while taking a cell phone, even hands-free, is equivalent to driving drunk. The thesis statement should have or should leave no doubt about the writer's position. Each body paragraph should cover a separate point in the sentence of each paragraph should offer strong evidence in the form of facts, statistics, quotes, 
from the experts and real life examples. You also have to consider various ways to make the argument, including using analogy, drawing, comparisons, or illustrating with hypothetical situation. Don't assume the audience has in-depth knowledge of the issue. Define terms and give background information. And in the concluding paragraph, you should summarize the most important evidence and encourage the readers to adopt the position or take an action. The closing sentence can be a dramatically plea, a prediction that implies urgent action is needed, a question that provokes readers to think seriously about the issue, or a recommendation that gives readers specific ideas on what they can do. In the third part, revising the persuasive essay, in the revision phase, you as a student should review, modify, and reorganize your work with the goal of making it as the best as it can be. Keep these considerations in mind. You have to answer these questions. Does the essay present a firm position on the issue, supported by relevant facts, statistics, quotes, and examples? Does the essay open with an effective hook that intrigues readers and keep them reading? Does each paragraph offer compelling evidence focused on a single supporting point? Is the opposition or opposing point of view presented and convincingly refuted? Is the sentence structure varied? Is the word choice precise? Do the transition between sentences and paragraphs help the readers understand or understanding? Does the concluding paragraph convey the value of the writer's position and urge the readers to think in that? The first part is editing and the persuasive essay. So proofread and correct the errors in grammar and mechanics and edit to improve the style and clarity. Having a friend read the essay helps writers edit with a fresh perspective. Probably you can let your friends, your family to read your essay for proofreading. And the last one is publishing the persuasive essay. So you can share the persuasive essay with the rest of the class or with your family and friends that can be both exciting and intimidating learn from experience and use the feedback to make the next essay even better this is an example of a persuasive essay and for your writing activity Imagine yourself as an editor of a newspaper. You should like to react strongly to a new government policy in the editorial section of the newspaper. Your editorial must contain a well-supported argument, thesis, and counter-argument for opposing viewpoints. It must also encourage a certain course of action. The criteria in assessing your editor are its appeal to the readers, accuracy of information, and adherence adherence to the style and format. Thank you for watching Reading and Writing Lessons. If you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Bye!